Live. For the first time, we are hearing from parents who are taking on Cobb County schools over their COVID protocols. They're part of a growing number of families with special needs children who are suing the schools and state education departments. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter talked with some of the parents, and Brittany, they say their children were put at risk and discriminated against because of their disabilities. Yes, and because of that, the Cobb County parents that filed a federal lawsuit over the weekend in the U.S. District Court tell me they feel like the district left them with no other choice. But it's been very hard on us as a family um, to not have him be as happy as he once was. Tarasha's son is a ninth grader who suffers from asthma. You know, I don't even know if he'll survive long enough to graduate from high school. Beth's son is an eighth grader with eternal muscular disease. How do you explain to a seven year old, you know, what's going on really, right? Like all of these parents are fighting for their children and the right to get an education. I started and have done everything I can do. So at this point, I'm angry. In a joint suit, the parents say the district is discriminating against their children because of their disabilities and that their children are more susceptible to COVID-19. They say the district failed to execute a multi-layered COVID-19 plan, which prevented their children from attending school in person. The suit saying their children shouldn't have to lose education opportunities because of the district's decision. In response to the suit, a district spokesperson released the following statement, saying they support individual student needs on a student-by-student -student basis, and they encourage any student or family to discuss their needs with their local school. Fight for what you feel is right. Um, do what you have to do to make sure that your child and other children are safe.